Hello, how are y'all doing? I uh, just wanted to do another video and uh, show you a bunch of items that I got at a number of thrift stores. I did a lot of thrifting. I went to, I goodness, I couldn't tell you, probably 10, 12 different uh, thrift stores in another area. I've been out of town. That's why I'm a little uh, late and uh, getting another video put up. I've uh, just been out of state. But I uh, found a lot of great items I thought I'd share with you. Also, hey, I, I got a question for you on a subject that is near and dear to my heart. And that is coffee. I've got cold weather coming, made it all the way down here to the south. Good, good coffee, keep you warm. Hey, uh, oh, question on my coffee. How do you make your coffee? I use a percolator. Uh, percolator, percolated coffee, the, the, the coffee just continues and runs through the, to, through the grounds until it's completely boiled. Not only that, when it's done, you have boiled hot coffee. And it's much hotter than a, a drip coffee maker. I quit using drip coffee makers a number of years back. I still use a uh, early 1970s uh, percolator for my coffee. That's at the house. And here uh, in the office, I actually have a, a newer percolator. Hey, just a question for you. How do you make your coffee? Um, all right, let me sit my coffee down and uh, just start jump right in got a lot of items to show you as usual i can't show you nearly all the items that i ran across i just i got a ton a ton of stuff uh, as a matter of fact i still have stuff in the trunk of my car um that i just hadn't got all processed yet uh half of it some of it i'll show you uh has been processed as a matter of fact uh some sold but uh let's get we'll go ahead and get started um check him out 1972 Disney Dumbo Bank. It's a bank. Got a sticker on the ear. Get the blow dryer out. That'll come right off. But boy, is he in. I uh, see if I can get some light on him. Maybe you can see him fairly well. Look at that. He is in beautiful condition. Uh, just a great, great little item. Say 50 cents for him. Interesting item. Just had to pick it up. <laughs> I paid. I paid nine dollars for it. I may have paid too much for him, but where else are you going to find a, a a wood carved elephant? Look at that with slots. Now I'm going to say it's for letters, but it will hold CDs. Uh, CDs will fit right into it. Let's see if I got a CD sitting here. Yeah, I do. Um, CDs will CDs will fit right into. So it could be a CD holder as well. Um, I'll advertise him as a CD holder or um, or a um, or a letter letter holder as well. Just a a cool cool item. He's in pretty good shape. There doesn't have you know doesn't have scratches and all that kind of stuff on him. Pretty cool item. I I just had to pick him up. Unusual items. I'm just going to go for it. I uh, ran across this item. Uh, you can see the top of him right here. Um, when I saw him, an eight dollar price tag on him. I could not believe that. This is made in 1980. Let me see if I can remember 82, 84, 94, 84. I'll get it right in a minute. 1994 by uh, this is Mickey Unlimited. Un Mickey Unlimited. I'll get to where I can talk eventually on this uh, video. Uh, he's uh, animated, as you can see. I got him turned on there for you. Paid eight dollars for him. Now he needs a little cleaning up. I'll clean him up just a little bit and uh, get him sold. Check out what these things go for. Um, most of them are ask. They're asking between two fifty, three hundred dollars. They're selling anywhere from looks like about a hundred to a couple hundred. So great find on him. Eight dollars. Hard time, hard time keeping him. My youngins really like him. Got a uh, toboggan here with uh, Sonic the Hedgehog on it. Fifty cents. All right, let's get into some. Uh, I'll get into some shirts that I found. This is a flannel by Cactus. Have 
check this one out. This is very unusual. This is a limited edition shirt. As a matter of fact, this shirt was just put on and uh, just sold. So it's actually fixing to be shipped on out. But this is a silk. Check that out. It is silk. I don't know how well you can see that. But it's old all Dr. Pepper advertising. Let me get that up there in there where you can see that. Check that out. All Dr. Pepper advertising on it. It's 100% silk. Let's see if you can. 19. I'm, I'm so good with these years. 1995. Again, 1995. Special made Dr. Pepper shirt. Already sold. Um, I paid four dollars for it. I just sold it. I believe I, I was asking thirty nine for it. Thirty four or thirty nine. Anyway, already sold. Um, not that one, man. I've already had. Um, nice, nice flannel shirt by uh, Saga Tuck. Saga Tuck Company Limited. Just a beautiful shirt. Beautiful shirt. I like that. Another silk shirt, 100% silk Hawaiian shirt. Those always do well. Uh, all these shirts I've just paid a couple dollars for. Now, this is a real heavy, heavy flannel. Uh, this is Five Brother. Five Brother. Um, nice, heavy, heavy, heavy flannel shirt. Great for the winter. I uh, paid a few dollars for this. This is check this out. Superman Nuggy. These go for about twenty something dollars. Superman Snuggy. All there. Uh, not gonna try them on for you. <laughs> oh, love this. Paid six dollars for this. This is a quilted polo Ralph Lauren jacket. This jacket, like I say, I paid six dollars for it, and this jacket retails retails for over three hundred dollars. Um, I'll get anywhere from seventy-five to one hundred and fifty. I'm not sure what I'm going to ask. I'm, I'll kind of double check all the figures on the sales on that, but um, that's a bare minimum of seventy-five dollar jacket right there. Picked up this uh, skateboard by the Bomb Factory. This is a bomb factory called a uh, floater, uh, a float board. Um, you can see it has a few extra wheels. Notice the how they curve. I paid nine dollars for that. Uh, these sell brand new, about seventy nine dollars used in the uh, fifty dollar range, uh, anywhere forty forty fifty dollar range, I guess. Um, great, cool looking board. Um, I, I actually stood on it and uh, rode it just a little bit. Great riding board. Bring my box in here. Got a whole lot of stuff. Uh, always picking up the games. This is Triopoly. This um, this unit right here. It it it's on a ball bearing. Has a ball bearing bottom and and spins around. Uh, guys always looking for that. That one does well. Paid a couple three dollars for that. Always picking up the gloves. This is an all-star. Uh, it's probably about a 35. I think I got 39 dollars on it. 34, 35 to 40 dollars is uh, what I have on this glove. Like I said, I didn't play, didn't pay but uh, two, maybe three dollars for it. Um, let's see. Get all this rain down. Still. Woo! Hello. Don't tear up a guitar. <laughs> um, got these two books for piping. I saw these and you don't, it's not every day you come across books that teach uh, bagpiping. Uh, these books actually sell very well. Um, I have b both of these together up. I, I went ahead and just put them up for $19.99 and I already have a watcher on them. That'll probably sell before the weekend is up. All right. Um, little flash pad. This is uh, brand new in the box. Um, these, uh, I think about maybe $14, $15. Anyway, pay $2 for that. Paid $0.50 cents a piece. Now, I've got a bunch 
Uh, there's probably about 10 more of these. I uh, paid 50 cents a piece for these. These are all cell phone batteries and camera batteries and that sort of thing. 50 cents a piece. Uh, bare minimum around 12, 12, 15 dollars each. Uh, you can see the price tag on the the they sell new for about 20, 20 anywhere from 20 to 25 dollars a piece. Get those out the way. I uh, went to a, a great little thrift store. It had a pile of ink, and I bought every last bit of it. Um, I'll just show you just a few of those, but I ended up with probably about 20 to 30 packs of of ink and, and so forth, uh, all brand new, never used, of course, <laughs> on the ink, used ink. All right, this is uh, actually uh, uh, HP printhead. These sell for about 15 bucks a, a, a piece. If you had, if I had the black set, um, these these would actually sell for about 75 dollars. I paid a dollar a piece for all the all the ink, dollar a piece, except. Uh, a th local thrift store that I go to, they know me real well, and a lot of times they know what I'm at. I'm looking for, and a couple of a couple of ladies put things aside for me. So um, I paid five dollars a piece for these. I don't know if the retail uh, the retail sticker was on it. Just one of these retails for about sixty nine seventy bucks. Um, this is a brother four four cartridges. Um, I have both of these up for thirty nine dollars. Thirty-nine dollars. They will sell quick. But uh, I paid. I paid five bucks a piece. That's uh, on online. That's that's a good going rate for them. Anyway, I didn't want to hang on to them for long. Um, picked up this uh, Norelco. Uh, rotary razor replacement heads. I'll get that out of there. Mm. Um, paid a dollar. Paid a dollar for that. <laughs> That sells for about 30 bucks, 30, 35 bucks. I have these up for 32. They'll sell. There's already watchers on it as well. Um, this is a heavy duty um, stapler by Swingline. It staples about 120, up to 120 sheets. It is brand new. The box has been opened, but it is, it is actually still you can see it's still in all has in all the stuffs never actually been taken out of the the, uh, the stuff there anyway uh, I paid nine dollars for it but that's a uh, that's about a forty dollar stapler so I think that's about what I have it on there for about thirty nine thirty nine dollars um, picked up doing a lot of ums today sorry about that all right here we have the uh, colonial schooner a wooden model I had to pay for this I paid 20 20 bucks is what they were asking but this is a, about an $80 piece so. and it is open but I checked everything and it is all there Let me see if I can get, get that open for you um, it is all there it has I don't know if you can see that it has all the little bitty pieces in this little container right here they're all bagged the baggies are still stapled like they were when they, uh, when it was supposed to have never been opened. So it's all there. Uh, somebody uh, wanted to attempt it and then, de then decided against it. So great little find there. Paid a little more than I really wanted to pay. But, you know, sometimes you just got to go for it. Uh, that's all the items I have for you today to show you. Um, like I say, I, I still have uh, probably about four or five more bins Oh, I my my car the back of my car was jam packed full of items full of stuff. I'm trying to think if there's anything else up here um, that I had for sale. Uh, here's here's a little item sterling silver. Ooh, where's my camera? There you are, sterling silver. This is a uh, um, French club. Is that yeah French club? Uh, both pieces are sterling. I picked that up, paid a dollar. That was in the thrift store as well. All right. Hope I uh, hope you're having a great day, having a great time, and um, hope maybe uh, you you saw a few items might get you inspired to go out there and and uh, find you some items to buy and sell, collect, whatever you do. I uh, hope you hope all is well, and uh, just have a great day. Love God and love others.